Hi there, Serial Trader here. I'm just going to present a uh, nice chart I found. And the ticker symbol is JPM, that's JP Morgan. It's a uh, US bank. And this should be starting to look pretty familiar to anyone that follows Elliott Wave at this point. So, working off the low we had uh, in May of 2017, so roughly a year ago, okay, uh, we have a nice move up. Then a corrective decline, then a strong wave move up in wave three, and now we've been working an A, B, C, D, E is possibly done now for a triangle wave four, and now the next move uh, you'd be looking for from a train perspective is a strong move up in wave five, and wave five will likely go higher than where it's labeled here, but just to give you an idea, the minimum expectation is to exceed the highs. And uh, obviously you could do your triangle thrust measurement uh, to figure that all out. But before I go on to the uh, candlestick chart on thinkorswim, uh, this should be kind of repetitive at this point. Um, these are the kind of chart setups I continually look for. You look for a good, you know, easy to identify, high quality uh, Elliott wave pattern on a price chart. You look for an impulse wave, whether it be up or down, that is not complete yet. So we have an incomplete sequence to the upside. We have a one, two, we have our three, definitely a correction, you know, sideways triangle wave four. This is not an impulsive decline. And now you're gonna be looking for that fifth wave up. That's the trade setup. Wave four is the trade setup for wave five. Okay. And you know, what? it's interesting. I mean, whether we look at weed or uh, I mean, I could find various other price charts uh, in the past and uh, even now and certainly into the future that have this same kind of setup. You have a, a trending impulsive sequence, you have a corrective pullback, and then you're looking for that next uh, move either up or down, depending on the direction here. Uh, in this case up, I, I just think it's remarkable. I mean, what does JP Morgan uh, and Bitcoin and uh, Canopy Growth Corporation have in common business wise? you know, essentially nothing. And yet their stock prices or their uh, underlying prices, if they're not a stock, trend in the same kind of patterns. And you might you might say, why is that? Well, the common denominator across all widely traded markets, freely traded markets, is human nature and uh, crowd psychology. And that's why Elliott Wave is such a robust methodology because uh, all, all sorts of things in the world can change and businesses can change and technology can change. But as long as it's people valuing these things, buying and selling from one another, uh, you're going to have these kinds of patterns. Even with the advent of algorithms, okay, well, who do you think uh, inputs all the data into the algo uh, for what the algorithm is supposed to do? Well, people still do that. So the algos are just perhaps more quickly or efficiently executing what a person would have done anyways. Isn't that interesting? So that is why you still have Elliott wave patterns, even in this uh, algorithmic trading uh, environment that we may be in. Okay. Now, not to rant too much, but I just thought I'd point out, I mean, it's pretty hard to deny that you see these patterns uh, repeatedly time and time again across very, very uh, unrelated markets. And, uh, I guess just as kind of a geek, I think that's cool. Now, I really think it's cool as far as the uh, money-making opportunity they present. So yeah, definitely looking for a move up in wave five. And uh, the E-wave certainly looks like it's nearly complete. Uh, it didn't quite come down to touch that AC trend line, which is quite nice. It respected trend line support. And uh, we'll get to the candlestick chart just here briefly and look at today's action intraday. So intraday, uh, we put in a nice bullish reversal candlestick, a hammer style candlestick. Now we're still below the T line, uh, but I'd say once you get above the T line and you get your stochastic starting to curl up and move up, that, that's a good long entry, okay? And then obviously the stop uh, would go below the low of the day at 107.54. Now I haven't initiated a trade on this yet, um, but I'm definitely looking to. I'm also considering an option play and I, I kind of like, uh, I mean, obviously I'm really favoring the upside here. 
And uh, if we just do the uh, triangle thrust measurement, I think it uh, gives us a pretty decent target. So let's do that. And then just drag it over to the apex of the triangle. Okay. And where does that leave us uh, price wise? Oh, let's just say a triangle thrust measurement around 124, 125 on JP Morgan. So from around 108 or 109, that's a huge move. Uh, well, it's not a huge, huge move percentage wise if you're just buying stock, but if you wanna play options, you can make that a really, really huge move. So that's pretty good. Uh, now, I am also considering a straddle, even though obviously I'm really expecting a bullish bias, because you know, what if you're wrong? And uh, what if this is actually just going to be a triangle within a larger correction and we'll have a C wave down or something, right? And this is just a triangle wave B. Uh, you never know. Uh, so straddle could be quite attractive here too, but I haven't really looked at straddle prices just yet. I'll probably do that tomorrow. Anyway, I thought I'd present that uh, to anyone that's interested. Um, Triangle setups, they're, they're very attractive because it's very clearly defined risk. You know your levels where you're wrong. You know your levels where you're likely right. And you have pretty high confidence targets with that triangle thrust measurement. So they're just a really attractive pattern. All right, uh, I think I'll wrap it there for now. You'll probably hear more from me on this one uh, as it progresses and as I do something with it. Okay, Serial Trader signing off.